Hello, Mr. Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video. Today, I've got two replays to show you in the tier 9 Swedish heavy premium tank, the Spirit of War Sturv K. Now, this is the metal version of the Sturv K, which is re released um, in the store right now, but it's only in there for a limited time. I think on Tuesday it will expire. So, if you do want this tank, it's 16,000 gold, which is quite a lot of gold and it's in the uh, store at the moment but for limited time because it is a licensed vehicle but what this tank is essentially a version of the Sturve K um, with a little bit of difference now what you've got is you sacrifice about five or six kilometers an hour of mobility so it is noticeably slower than the Sturve K but for that trade-off um, of mobility you gain turret armor and your turret is absolutely fantastic now and you can bounce an awful lot of uh, shots from this turret when you're using your 10 degrees of gun depression that this tank has and i'm being honest with you i really like this tank uh, and i have a lot of fun playing it i've got two replays to show you today the first of what uh, which we have here is a tier 9 replay so we are top tier and there's no enemy artillery in the game so that means you can really use your um, gun depression because you don't have to worry about getting shot down from the sky um, so initially here on this map we're going to push to a position quite aggressively uh, where you will see you know the turret um, becoming effectiveness really because we're going to be in a position here where we're using our gun depression only exposing our turret armor and we should be able to bounce quite a few shells we get a first shot in this tank does have 390 alpha you do have good um, i've got on the standard around 252 penetration with 1350 shell velocity but on the premium round you have 310 apcr uh, penetration with 1500 um, shell velocity and you have a really good gun actually I've got the accuracy down to about 0.26 so you don't need to run stabs on this tank the gun feels really really nice and just you know unlike the Sturv K uh, normal version where the turret armor is okay it's nowhere near as effective as this and, and quite often tanks do punch through your turret um, but with this version you know the turret armor is a lot better and you can see here already where these tanks are just really struggling to um, penetrate us. Now the whole armour of the tank is pretty terrible. Um, you're not going to bounce much shots if you're caught out in the open. But, you know, when you are hold down and that's how you want to use your tank, you can definitely can bounce quite a few shots. So, initially we're pushed up and you know, we've got some good position shots here. There's quite a few tanks in front of us. Um, but if they stay here like this and they don't completely push us, um, which is difficult because we have tank destroyers potentially covering us. We're in a hold down position and we've already blocked 2,400 off of our turret here and picked up 1,000 with damage of our own and picked up uh, one kill. Trying to get a shot through the component of that uh, sturve here. I'm conscious of that uh, Barassi on the left. I'm, you know, I'm keeping an eye on that tank just because I'm worried about something that's going to move around and come behind us. Um, which is a bit of a concern but right now we're in a good situation to try and get shots in you see that Barras move there and, from, and then I'm kind of sensing it is going to come behind us but I don't want to give up this location at the moment because I have good sort of cross shots in and I'm, I'm trying to keep these enemy uh, tanks under pressure here um, as much as I can so it's sort of fairly close game 13 versus 12 at this point we don't have a lot of damage of our own uh, but we're still full hit points um, and we are just slowly whittling them down these tanks now i can't believe i just mentioned at the start of the video that uh there was no artillery in this game there is artillery in this game they're just not shooting at us um so yeah a slight error at the start of this video there is one fun place in this game so i'm just looking now again to see if i'm getting any more shots in we're starting to take a bit of control of this uh, game we're, yeah we are taking advantage but as you can see the enemy uh Barass has moved now behind us he's going to put both his shots in I think he actually uh, bounces one of those shots. Oh no, he doesn't, so he does get both shots in. Uh, but he's now on reload and we're able to get some shots in. But I'm, I'm kind of concerned now because we've got a full health VK heavy tank pushing up against us. And we really need some help from our team. I'm going to try and track him in place um, to make it difficult. We're harder for him to get some shots in. We do track him in place. We're trying to side scrape him. Just keep going for that track wheel here. Thankfully, Ozzy doesn't have the best of crew and get those track wheel shots in. It's kind of stopped him pushing us. 
Uh, we do have a enemy medium tank pushing behind us. We're able to uh, kill that rocket tank there. He does get a few rockets into us, putting us onto 465 hit points now. So we are very low on the old hit points, but we're just trying to get as much damage out as we can. Our friendly tank destroyer is pushing across. He's going to um, probably take the attention away from this enemy heavy. Unfortunately, our shot doesn't go where it wanted to, and we missed the lower plate there. Um, but we've got to be careful because we are potential one shot to this tank. But uh, I'm just trying to finish him off. Unfortunately, our T95 is face hugging him. Uh, but that just only really leads us to Capola for the shots in. We do get a nice shot into the Capola. I think we high roll there. Um, and then we should be able to finish him off, um, you know, freeing up our friendly tank destroyer. Put us onto 4,000 damage and 3 kills. 1,500 assistance. And I think about, you know. 3,000 block now, um, so yeah, he just shows you that the arm of the turret you know, can be really effective. Um, but 8 versus 4, at this stage, yeah, I'm pretty confident we're going to get the win. It's just about getting as much out of this game as we can. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try and make our advance to the enemy team. I don't think I want to get to the enemy artillery before our friendly team do. I suspect they're going to take them out, which they do. Enemy artillery has now been destroyed. We've got an enemy um, medium tank and two enemy TDs there. The enemy UDIS has been detected. I'm hoping we might be able to get a nice shot into this TD. Put one in, track him in place. He gets shut down by our object 704. Pick up a tiny bit more track assistance there. Picking it up uh, 4,500 damage now with two tanks remaining. I am detected, just trying to wiggle as much as I can. We uh, eat a shot off the action Rex there. I'm um, hoping that he doesn't get another shot in, but now we'll hold down, we're going to be able to bounce the shots, and we're just looking to see if we can finish this tank off. If it keeps crossing like that, we should be able to pick up the kill. And you see our fantastic shell velocity allowed us to get that shot in with ease. Putting us under four kills now, just shy of 5,000 damage with 1,700 assistance, and one enemy tank left, which is enemy T30. And I'm pretty sure he's making the way to our base. As you see, he does get detected. Moving up to our base now. Um, going in to try and kill our enemy, uh, our friendly artillery, I should say. But being that the T-30 is you know, on so low hit points, there's a good chance that the, T the artillery probably could actually shotgun him. But if not, we're going to try and make our advance over there and see if we can pick up any more of the damage. Before we move on to the final replay. Um, so yeah, just trying to head over there now. There's only sort of one um, tank which is going to beat us to it, and that's a friendly T54. It looks like our friendly T54 has actually fallen off the uh, cliff there. So right now, I'm thinking. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Selfishly, I'm kind of thinking. I hope the T30 kills the artillery just so I can get the kill. But our friendly artillery does pick up the kill, and he does well to kill the T30, and that brings us then to the replay number one. And we pick up four kills, 5,000 damage, uh, just shy of 2,000 assistance and 3,000 blocks, confirming the ace tanker and the steel wall. But let's bring us, at, uh, let's move on to the final replay of the video then, uh, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay then, so here we are for the final replay on Nomahan. This time it's tier 10 matchmaking and we really don't have any artillery this time, I think. No, we definitely don't have any artillery. Um, so initially from this spawn, I would say this is my preferred spawn um, if we are to play this map uh, on this version because I can push straight across, get underneath the ridge line and try and put the enemy team into some awkward situations. Especially uh, when we have a tank which is favoured for using those ridge lines. With its 10 degrees of gun depression and good turret armour, it's kind of the ideal situation. So, uh, as well as the fact we don't have to worry about artillery this time, um, it means we're, we're going to be in the yeah the ideal environment for the tank because we can just be hold down, try and bounce some shots, um, and we don't have to move because of the artillery focus. So we're moving across now. There is one enemy uh, light tank, a more friendly light tank in this game. Um, you can see our friendly light tanks already pushed off aggressively and tried to spot the enemy team. Um, so I'm pushing up to this first initial location, see if we can catch any tanks out and get any early damage. But we are getting out spotted here and out detected, and you know we're not getting targeted, or we are now. Um, and I guess it was that enemy light tank. We're going to look to try and get a shot in as he leaves. Unfortunately, just missed that shot. But 
If you notice, if you pay attention to our mini map on the seven line, we have quite a lot of tanks covering us. And I'm going to make a aggressive decision, um, which is somewhat can be somewhat risky. I'd only play this if I had a lot of tanks covering us. And I'm going to try and get underneath the ridge um, in a bit more of an aggressive position because my theory is I have a lot of guns covering me. If the enemy team overpoke to get shots into us, they should get shot. And I'm seeing it. My, you know, I'm encouraged by my um, this, those shots which have come in and those tanks have just got destroyed then. So I know I do have the cover. Um, and that's kind of the key, like, like having the cover to be able to do this this aggressively. Otherwise, I wouldn't necessarily do this this early on if I didn't feel comfortable. But you can see now we move into position. We hold down where we can get lovely shots in this enemy E100. And if that E100 tries to overpoke us here, he's going to get shot by our TDs covering us, which puts us in a strong position to try and get some shots in. I'm just going to try and lean over and spot the enemy base just in case there's anything there. Uh, we do spot a enemy light tank and we also spot an enemy E75 which I can only assume is maybe AFK there because um, otherwise I don't know why else it would be in that location. So we're going to lean over to see if we can get any early damage. Might as well get some shots in you know, if we can. Uh, I'm just going to try and use this ridge line. We do have to overpoke a little bit but he's clearly AFK there because he's not moving. And I might as well just try and pick up this free damage while it's presented to us. Then he starts moving, so I guess he's come back to the key, but for, um, you know, the controller there. But unfortunate time for him though, because he's now got taken out by our friendly M46 pattern. And we pick up a tiny bit of assistance there. So not a bad start to the game. We've, we've managed to take control of a very dominant position. This enemy tank tries is going to look to try and get a nasty shot into us, but we track him in a good location and we're able to turn so we are now hold down and we're looking to try and keep him tracked in the position where he can't get the gun down to shoot us and we farm more assistance damage there and we've managed to pick up sort of 1600 track assistance now. Enemy Fosh is looking to get some shots in. We bounce one off of our turret there. Again we are now hold down. This really excels in these ridge line locations like this because you're just using your turret armor, you can bounce a lot of shells off of that turret armor and it's just the ideal situation. But we're getting targeting out spotted here. I just think there's probably like there could be an enemy Turan or something like that. I'm never gonna spot that. So I do have to be a bit careful, but I'm just trying to get as much out as I can. This enemy medium tank's moving, squeezing the little shot into his engine before he leaves there. Now we're trying to pull back. We know there's that gorilla and enemy tank destroyers, which we can't quite out spot here. Um, but we're taking a real control of this game, 14 versus 8 now. Picked up more assistance damage there and more damage. Enemy E100 has obviously had enough, but we're going to try and get one through the driver and track him in place. We do track him in place there, slowing him down, burning his repair kit. We're going to try and then retrack him if we can. And we do retrack him in such a way that he doesn't have the gun, uh, you know, elevation there to get a shot down on us. And we retrack him again. Um, and this is good news for us because we're just farming the damage, not eating any in return. We do then track him again. I think he's about to get his gun down now. He does. He gets his first pen in. But it's not too bad. We should be able to pick up the kill. And we do put this on two. Just shy of 5,000 damage with our first kill and 2,600 assistance. With four enemy tanks remaining. Enemy Fosh is relocated, but we get the kill shot in after he puts one into us. There's only one tank. This has been... An absolute waffle stomp, but it did sort of, you know, it, although it was a waffle stomp, it did sort of show you again, you know, the, the effectiveness of the turret when you're in the right scenario. So I thought it's worth sharing. Um, and that's it for the video. So again, you know, just to summarise, I really enjoy this tank. Uh, it's similar to the Sturve K, except form it's slower, but although it's not that slow, um, but you trade off that mobility for a much better turret armor there's a few st soft stats different in the gun etc but the real key things are not as quick as the Sturve K the regular Sturve K but has a much better turret armor so that is it for the video thank you so much for your support and as always happy tanking enemy in sight